<laughs> Welcome, gentlemen wise. Today I'm going to share with you how long you should tie your tie. Also some reasons why you may not want to tie it that long. A trick that I invented to help you get your tie tied the correct length almost every time. And what to do if your tie always ends up too short or too long in terms of after it's tied. And with that, gentlemen wise, let's wise up and suit up. So how long should our tie be? Well, the short answer is you want it to hit about the top of your belt buckle or your waistband. If I tie a tie and it lands anywhere between the bottom of my belt and about two fingers above my belt, I typically won't retie it. Even the best of us can't get it perfectly accurate every time. But uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna share a trick with you that'll make it a lot easier. The ideal length changes through time as well. Like back when I was a missionary I, at, for my church, I wore neckties every day and we used to have a saying, short ties baptize. We used to wear our ties about four fingers above our belt loop and <laughs> that was the saying that we had. The challenge is, Whatever length you use, you gotta kinda account for a little bit of slouching. You're probably not always gonna be standing at attention, but you should still set the tie to be at the top of your belt loop when you're at attention. So if you slouch a little bit, you're still kind of within an acceptable range. All right, there are two good reasons, not, not four, but just two. There are two good reasons for departing from the typical length advice, and that is, one, some people claim that a slightly longer tie can help you look thinner. I wasn't able to verify this at all, either from fashion sources or from scientific sources. There is no support for this claim whatsoever. The only support I could find was President Donald Trump uh, supposedly gave advice to Chris Christie that he should wear his ties longer because they would make him seem skinnier. Now, I will say that if you have your tie kind of pointed towards your belly, it may draw attention to the size of your belly. And so having your tie a little bit longer may make it look like you're a little skinnier. That's the only thing I can think of. I don't actually think that's a bad theory, but that's the first reason why you may want to have a tie that's longer than the typical. Now, the second reason is that maybe your tie is just too short for your torso. If you're particularly tall, you probably have a hard time finding good ties and maybe you're at a wedding and you get a free tie and, and they give you one that's too short and so you have to tie your tie slightly shorter or maybe your toddler gets peanut butter and jelly on in your tie and you have to borrow one from a, a shorter friend. Uh, but that, that would be the second reason why you may not tie your tie the exact perfect length. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for, we're gonna get this necktie tied. So here's the trick to tie your tie the perfect length. The first thing that you do is you just throw it over your neck. And check out this tie. First, throw it over your neck. <laughs> so first we calibrate. I have the blade or the wide end on my right hand and the tail or the skinny end on my left hand. The first thing you do is you just drop your right arm straight down and choose a length for your, the blade of your tie. I'm gonna put it right at the tip of my finger. From there, I'm just gonna tie the tie as I regularly would. When you use this trick, you kinda have to tie the tie one time. That helps you calibrate for the next time so you can get it perfect the second time. So, I got my tie tied and as you can see, surprise, surprise, it's about, I don't know, about a, several fingers, maybe five or six fingers above my waistband. So definitely not, you can't go out in public like this, please. The worst case scenario is you could tuck the small end in your shirt. Anyways, that's the first step. So first we calibrate and then now, you remember I had the tip of the necktie at the tip of my finger. I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, except I'm gonna add uh, four or five inches because that's how much higher it was last time. 
Again, go through the steps. I'm gonna tie it really quickly again. And, oh, feels so good. Perfect. Not sure why I'm, not sure, peace. Perfect. It's a symbol for perfect. No, I'm not in the Illuminati here. This is a perfect length, and you're gonna be able to get a perfect length every time if you use this trick. If you find that it's often too short, for instance, no matter what you do, you can never get it long enough, this means that you have a particularly long torso. What you can do about it is choose a knot that is not as thick. So I chose a very thick knot. This actually doesn't even have a name, but I would recommend a half Windsor or the Nikki knot or possibly even the four in hand knot if you find that you have a long torso and your ties often end up too short. Now if you have the opposite problem, maybe you're a kid and your ties are always too long, you can't get ties short enough, then choose a particularly fat knot or a knot that takes a lot of length, like the double Windsor, or I'm actually gonna be coming out with an even bigger knot than the double Windsor in a couple weeks, so subscribe to our videos. You're good to go, buddy. And that is how long you should tie your necktie. Hopefully you feel wiser, better looking, and more confident. Tap that subscribe bell. Check out MyNiceTie.com. Today I'm wearing a tailored gray suit from Men's Warehouse. The orange crush necktie from My Nice Tie. A stag lapel pin. White shirt from Indochino. Cufflinks from BYU, Oxblood leather belt from Mission Belts. I'll put links in the description below for all of those items if they are for sale online. Anyways, thank you for tuning in to My Nice Tie. With that, this is Ben signing out. B-roll, B-roll, lots of B-roll. Karate suit. Horse stance. Karate. Watch this floating, floating away. <laughs> oh, man.